Welcome to Sales Master. This is episode four. Today I'm going to talk about the most important thing that I've ever been able to do for myself in my sales career. So to me, the most important ingredient to being successful in sales is having a positive attitude, being able to maintain positivity. The one thing that I notice out of every sales guru that I've ever, and and I've looked at a lot of them because they make a compelling case. And it's just my opinion that selling sales coaching to salespeople is probably the easiest thing in the world to sell because every salesman wants to be better. And the best salesmen, in my opinion, have the least objections or have the, the lowest defenses when it comes to being sold themselves. Because salesmen appreciate another good salesman. So if somebody is trying to sell me a service that's going to make me a better salesman and they're doing it well, I'm going to buy it more often, than, more often than not. You know, like I am the perfect customer for a salesman. And that's in anything. I mean, if I walk into a clothing store and they have things that I like, I might be able to resist the temptation to pull the trigger on it. But you put a good salesman in front of me and I'm walking out the door with everything that I already wanted anyway. My point being is that all these sales gurus, and I've looked at a lot of their programs, a lot of them, as soon as I start looking at them, I realize that a big part of what they're telling you are ways to stay positive, to keep a positive attitude and a positive mind state. Or it's things that if you do keep a positive attitude and a positive mind state, it'll come naturally to you. You know, like one of the biggest cliches that I heard in sales, I don't know if maybe it's just the industry that I'm in, but I've heard it everywhere that I've ever worked is smile and dial. And, you know, smile and dial comes from literally keep a smile on your face like this as you're on the phone because... I was told by the guy who trained me, never looked into it, never researched it, but I was told that it's scientifically proven that if you smile, you can hear if somebody's smiling, they sound happier when they're talking to you. And that's, that's only part of it. To me, if you're smiling, you're going to feel happier and it's going to make the rejection that you're going to always have to face some level of in sales, it's going to make it hit less. It's going to make the hit softer on you. So keeping a positive attitude is always the most important thing. And especially because we do face so much rejection in this industry and because it is such a mental roller coaster. When you're dealing with a commission based business, you have to have a positive attitude or you'll drive yourself crazy. If you walk in every Monday and think with the amount, with the rejection that we're going to face in our industry, If you walk in every Monday and you just think, oh my God, how am I going to get my paycheck back to where it was last week, again this week? If you're always doom and gloom, you're going to have anxiety, you're going to have high blood pressure, you're not going to be able to sleep at night. You like For me, I wouldn't be able to live in a sales industry if I constantly had those feelings. I had to wake up every morning and say, I know I can do this, I know I'm going to do this, I know I'm making sales today. No matter what. And guess what? There were days when I I had to go home with my tail between my legs and I didn't get a sale. But you know how I went home? I went home and said, all right, well, I'm going to get a sale tomorrow. I'm I'm getting two sales tomorrow, as a matter of fact. I'm going to make up for the fact that I didn't get one today. I always had some kind of positive outlook that would keep me going. And like I would piss people off because... If guys I worked with wanted to complain about leads, I wouldn't even listen to it. I wouldn't entertain that. I'd be like, man, you could blame the leads all you want, but I'm going to blame myself so that when I get a sale, I can take credit for it. I don't want to hear any of you take credit next time you get a sale because according to you, it only has to do with the leads. And people would get pissed off that I had that attitude. They'd be like, yeah, okay, whatever, Rich. But that's how I always felt about it. I'm not going to complain about leads and then take credit when I get a sale if it all has to do with the leads. So that's another thing about staying positive is that having a belief in yourself and also 
not blaming outside circumstances that I have no control over. I don't blame the guy who didn't buy from me. I blame myself for saying, listen, if I didn't close that deal, it has nothing to do with him. It has to do with me. Or maybe he just wasn't the right guy anyway. So don't blame outside entities that you don't have any control over and keep a positive mindset. So if you're still getting started in sales and you're feeling those doubts, this video is really for you. If you know somebody who's in this position, definitely share this video with them because it's going to help them out if, if, if they take the, the advice of forcing themselves to see something positive, forcing themselves not to blame outside entities, and forcing themselves just to keep on going no matter what. Like It's, it's one of those things where you will get a sale eventually. You're going to get a sale. And then as soon as you get a sale, it's going to boost your confidence up that much more. And then you're going to get more sales because your confidence boosted up more. And then you're going it, to, it, it's one of those things where it, it's like a cycle that the, the longer it takes you to get a sale, the lower your confidence gets. And the lower your confidence gets, the less likely you're going to be to get a sale. But then as soon as you get a sale, your confidence is going to go up a little bit more. And as your confidence is going up higher, you're going to get more sales because you're going to sound better as you're doing the sale. So keep that positive attitude no matter what, and you're going to increase your confidence. You're going to increase your likelihood to close. And as you close those deals, you're going to continue to perform better and better. So keep that in mind. Like that's the most important part of this entire video. If you don't take in anything else, take in that one little part and leave in the comments. Let me know how it worked out for you. If you have any other topics in sales that you want to hear specific advice on, if you have objections that you're having a hard time struggling with, leave it in the comments. And on another episode of Sales Mastery, I'll cover anything that's left in the comments. Subscribe so you don't miss another video because I release these once a week. And I appreciate you guys watching. Have a fantastic day.